Hey friends, thank you for coming back to my channel today. So today is my first fall decorating video and we are going to be doing all of my tiered trays. I am obsessed with tiered trays and I love decorating them, especially for different seasons. And today we are gonna be doing four different tiered trays. So let me show you what I have laid out. Okay, so I have a tiered tray station set up here on our kitchen table. And these are the four trays we're going to be decorating today. This first one is a three tiered white metal tray. It is from Hobby Lobby. And this one stays on the kitchen table as our centerpiece. The second tray is a two tiered tray. It is metal and wood and it stays on the kitchen counter in the corner, kind of next to the coffee pot. So it has a coffee station theme. The third tray is this two tier metal and wood tray, and it is from the Target dollar spot, either last fall or the year before that. And this goes on our guest bathroom vanity. And then the last smallest tray here is a black metal tray, two tiers. It is from Hobby Lobby's fall section. I got it last year, but I think they do still have it this year. And this will go in our master bedroom. I also have all of my tiered tray decorating pieces laid out. I know it looks like a lot. It is a lot. I'm not sure I might have too many things, but it does take quite a few small pieces, of course, to decorate this many trays. Let me show you what I have. I do have a bag here full of loose pumpkin filler and some pine cones. And then here I have some more pumpkin filler, pine cones, and then we have a bunch, a bunch of signs. Um, I have some vases, mugs, measuring cups, stirring spoons, miscellaneous, a riser, miscellaneous pieces, a few small candles, and then lastly, we have some floral pieces. Real quickly, I wanna show you. Look how cute this tiny little basket is. I found this at a local thrift store. I think it was $1.99. I'm just gonna pull out this greenery and replace it with some fall florals or maybe a tiny pumpkin. It's gonna be so cute. And then this is some leftover eucalyptus I had, and then all of these florals are from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is a great place to get cheap florals, especially if you're looking for smaller sprigs like this size. You can just snip them off of the bigger bunches from Dollar Tree, and that way you get a lot of bang for your buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I think we're gonna go in order from largest to smallest as I have them laid out here, and we will see what we can come up with I will get them all decorated, take you through the process, and then at the very end, I will show them in place in each of the rooms. So let's get started. You will see that I'm using some of my favorite fall items, but I'm also tying in the kitchen theme with these mini cutting boards and a set of measuring cups. I like tying in the theme of the room for this kitchen table centerpiece.
Okay, now we're moving on to the coffee station tray, and as you can see, I'm using items like a mug, a creamer with some wooden stir spoons in it, and then also this vintage cow creamer that my aunt got for me at an estate sale. I absolutely love it, and this tray is a fun addition to our kitchen countertops. The third tray we're going to work on goes on the vanity in our guest bathroom. This one I kept a really simple color palette because it matches the whites and soft greens in that room. bedroom. I was really excited to design this tray and you'll see I'm using some cozy pieces and also keeping with the muted colors and farmhouse feel. decorated all four tiered trays and I actually did have quite a few pieces left over pumpkin fillers um, signs stuff like that but I'm gonna save those because I do have a few other spaces to decorate in my home still and I may be able to use them there so let me just show you all the tiered trays in their final locations so the first one I'm gonna show is this one here on our kitchen table um, the high chair is normally here I just have it pushed out of the frame but um, our table stays pushed up against this half wall. The stairs are down below there. And um, I do have a couple placemats, but generally the tier tray stays at the back. It leaves us plenty of room to eat and everything. So that's what this one looks like. And I did, as you saw in the final look, I did put some items in the back just because you can see it kind of from all directions. So that is what this one looks like. I love the way it turned out with all the different colors and the florals. I love that. And then if we walk over here into the kitchen, don't mind the mess. Um, this is what the coffee station tiered tray looks like. It goes in the corner here. Our coffee pot's right there. We have a bunch of mugs out. And then I do have this little box. This is from Walmart. And I just keep our K-cups in there. But this is what the coffee station tray looks like. Love it. And then we'll walk to the master bedroom. And this is what this tray looks like in here. Oops, uh, the lighting's off in here, sorry. So this one is just on our dresser next to our TV. Um, it's kind of crammed behind the TV. The plan is to mount the TV on the wall eventually. We just need to buy a mount and do it. Um, but that's what this one, this one is surprisingly my favorite, I think. 
but our bedroom is just a lot of soft greens, buffalo check, and a little hint of blue. I absolutely love the way this candle looks with the trees on it. And I was going to make a sign like this with my Cricut, but I found this one in that tear tray starter pack at Target. It was five signs for $5, so that's cheaper than I can make it with my Cricut. So there's that. And I decided to go with the eucalyptus in this one just to carry in that soft green. And I love how it turned out. And then the last tray is here in the guest bathroom. It is here in the corner of the vanity. And there's how that turned out. The um, color scheme in here is that soft gray and soft green. So I think this tray matches that perfectly. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my first fall decorating video of the season for tear trays. That was a lot of decorating, but I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. Stay tuned in the upcoming days and weeks for all of my other videos. I think I'm going to do a living room decorate with me, kitchen, and then maybe just another video of like other little spaces around our home possibly even a front porch video later in the season when it's cool enough to buy pumpkins and mums. I can't wait. But I had so much fun making this video for you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I hope you like home decor and mom life, day in the life, all those things. If you do subscribe, join me here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.